Too close to home. That's what people living in the Lynchburg neighborhood are saying tonight after an overnight shooting sent one person to the hospital. 10 News reporter Courtney Lockie was at the scene all morning and says neighbors are fed up with the violence. This is the place where a woman called police and told them about a hit and run car crash. When police showed up, it actually turned out that the driver had been shot and seriously hurt. It was an early and frightening morning for neighbors living on Floyd Street who woke up to find their homes surrounded by police. My husband woke me up and he was looking out the window because the lights were on, so he looked out the door and he could see that, you know, there was multiple police cars over there. Deborah Dunnigan and her husband watched nervously from their front porch as police put up the yellow caution tape and took several photos of evidence, including a hat and shell casings. This time of year, people, just, it's just crazy. There's no sense in it. It was just after midnight when police responded to what initially came in as a hit and run car crash. It turned out the driver of the car had been shot sometime before. Yeah, it's crazy. I just had a newborn child. You know, I could walk across the street, get shot. Neighbors like John Lee say what's even scarier is this isn't even close to the first time. And police are still looking for the gunman. It's ridiculous, especially this time of year. It's too close to home. If you have any information that could help officers make an arrest, call police. In Lynchburg, Courtney Lockie, 10 News, working for you. And we're told the victim in this case, a man is at Central Hospital, and we are waiting on word on how he's doing.